In the sixth Battle of the Race Circuits, we have a battle between Brands Hatch, the winner of last month, and a new challenger you voted for, Donington Park. So, we have an internal battle for England, <laughs> just like our politics. For those who are not familiar with the Battle of the Race Circuits format, the formula is simple. Every month we'll show you two epic race circuits which have something in common. You decide which one is best. The winner goes on to the next round for a battle against another iconic racetrack, but every circuit may only battle on for a maximum of three rounds. Brands Hatch is a permanent racetrack in the United Kingdom, not too far from the capital of London. It started as a grassroots motorcycle circuit on farmland that belonged to Brands Farm. With permission of the landowner, the site was used for practicing and for time trials by a group of cyclists. The first race was actually held in 1926, and it was between cyclists and cross-country runners. Within a few years, motorcyclists were using the circuit, laying out a three-quarter mile anti-clockwise track in the valley. That was the beginning of Brands Hatch becoming a motor racing circuit. Through the years, the track was extended and the driving direction changed from anti-clockwise to clockwise. From 1964 through to 1986, the Brands Hatch circuit hosted the British Grand Prix 12 times. Today, the circuit hosts races for British Touring Car Championships, GT Series, Sprint Cup, NASCAR Euro Series, Formula 3, Superbikes, Truck Racing and the DTM. Donington Park is a race circuit located near Castle Donington in Leicestershire in England. It opened in 1931 and is now the oldest operational circuit in the United Kingdom. From 1971 through to 2006, the Donington Park circuit was owned by businessman and car collector Tom Wheatcroft. Nowadays it's part of the Motorsport Vision Group, run by former Formula One driver Jonathan Palmer. In the 1930s it hosted the Donington Grand Prix four times, however it was in 1993 that it hosted its only Formula One Grand Prix under the name of the European Grand Prix. It turned out to be a spectacular rain-affected race won by Ayrton Senna. Through the years the layout of Donington Park changed several times. One of the most spectacular parts of the old layout was this jump in the old Melbourne Loop. Today the Melbourne Loop is much shorter and less jumpier. However, Donington Park it has had some of its most exciting sections remain, like the fast ascent after Redgate Corner with the craner curves and the old hairpin. Why they call this medium fast corner a hairpin? <laughs> Got no idea. If you know about it, please drop down a nine in the comments. Anyway, Brands Hatch has some exciting corners too, like Paddock Hill Bend and the fast Hawthorne Bend. So, now it's your turn. Let us know down in the comments which one is your favourite and tell us why. Next month the winner will battle against another iconic racetrack. Check out the social tab on this channel because in just about two weeks time we'll announce the winner and then you get to vote for who will be the next challenger. Subscribe now to our YouTube channel and make sure you click on that notification bell so that you don't miss out the next episode from the Battle of the Race Circuits and all of our other videos from iconic racetracks from the past and sometimes from the present too. Take care.